I don't remember if I talked about this before, but if I did, I'm going to talk about it again. Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you all are having a great week. So a couple weeks ago, I saw this video on self-sabotage and how a lot of people are doing it to themselves. And I'm sure some may not even know that they are self-sabotaging themselves. And I'm not just talking about people telling themselves stories and why they can't be successful. Or along the lines of telling yourself why you shouldn't succeed. Sounds unbelievable, but believe it. Some may know this or some may not know this where they actually believe that they don't want to be rich or be successful or make a lot of money because they saw other people who are rich, successful, and make a lot of money be arrogant, rude, or be an all-around a bad person. And some feel like money can corrupt people. Now, is it true? I mean, yeah, there are some examples of that and some rich people who fit that description. But if you turn your belief around and start thinking about the rich, successful people who are nice, who are polite, who are generous, who do give back, and who are all around a good person, you can start seeing things and seeing life in a different light. That's why for me personally, I have no problem when a celebrity or basically anyone shares something nice that they're doing for the community or a Make-A-Wish Foundation because I find it very inspiring. And I believe it could also inspire others to do the same. I'm not saying that you should share that all the time, just every now and then. Too often we see the negative sides of rich people and celebrities. That's not because they are always up to no good. It's because that's what the media wants to show us because that keeps us engaged. And that can also have a negative impact on ourselves and our beliefs. Instead, think of it this way. Making more money means you have more to give back to your community, your family, and to help more people out. In fact, there was a story that I saw recently where it said a woman in Chicago booked 20 rooms for 80 homeless people to stay in during this freezing weather that's been going on. I'm not exactly sure what she does for a living or how she could afford that, but let's be honest, that probably costs a lot of money. So my main point is to think of a belief that is holding you back in a certain aspect of your life, whether it's your relationships, job, money, spirituality, whatever you choose, there's no wrong answer here. And now, set a new belief for yourself. Keep on thinking about it and keep it in your mind. And just watch and see how your beliefs and your intentions will start to change. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all learned from this video. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please leave in the comments below. And if you ever wonder what I did and your instant makes extra income on your schedule at home or other things you just love to do, please visit my website, brandhosaka.com to learn more and I'd be more happy to connect with you and talk to you and we possibly could work with you in the future. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button to see videos just like this one and to hit the bell to get notifications whenever I post a new video. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week and a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you all next week. See you later, buddy. Bye.